My friends, this is a glorious day, a very glorious day, and we can give thanks. We're here to witness the union of Taylor Adelaide Garrett and Nathan Austin Neely in the sacrament of holy matrimony. And Taylor and Nathan have chosen this amazingly beautiful venue for their wedding. It couldn't be a more perfect setting to serve as a reflection of God's great love and ever-growing love that Taylor and Nathan share. Taylor, from the day you were born, you have brought joy into our family. You grew from our little bean into the beautiful woman you are today. And now you will be a great wife to Nathan as he will be a great husband to you. Growing up, I couldn't really imagine the man that my sister would marry. In her realistic and grumpy teenage stupor, she, she never fantasized about the big dress, the dancing, or the attention. She was way too busy for that. Then we met Nathan, and it all came together. Everything Taylor was and is is made better because of you. Nathan, thank you for loving my best friend, for pushing her to be the best version of herself, encouraging her, keeping her grounded when necessary. Thank you for adopting her passions as your own because you love her, giving her grace, and compassion and loving her without bounds. <laughs> Thank you for loving me, because she does, and most importantly, for wiping my computer of all viruses whenever I'm in Virginia. <laughs> I'm Taylor, and I'm not the bride. You see, both my parents and Taylor's parents had excellent taste in first names, and that only became a problem when we were both in the house a lot. And what we settled on was, I thought, a great system, Taylor and I. Because she was pretty Taylor, and I was handsome Taylor. And we were all on board for this. Nathan was not. I could not understand why. For the past 23 plus years, you've taught me to celebrate exactly who I am with confidence and humility. Thank you for being there in the tough decisions, the dark days, the moment I feel like I could never escape, but I always do because I have you as my biggest advocate. <laughs> I remember I was in my first year of college, Taylor telling me a boy had asked her to a concert and she was wondering if it was a date. And everyone knew it was a date except for her, so it was really confusing. Oh my god. Nathan's gonna freak out. I mean, Nathan is he just gonna stop. Stop. shriek just yeah. now. Oh my god! It's beautiful! It's so beautiful! Yes. Stop it! Oh my god! Alright, so if y'all okay, everybody in the bar, everybody all in the bar. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do we have to? Yeah. It's gonna be okay. 
You have to stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mine holding this until yeah. I eat and I'm gonna just like get it myself. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding at Cana of Galilee into this holy union. Taylor Adelaide Garrett and Nathaniel Austin Neely now come to be joined. Sometime after Taylor and Nathan began dating, Sandra informed me he might be the one. I recall that I responded to Sandra by saying, what? Are you crazy? When did this happen? I started to think about what I really wanted and hoped for in a son-in-law. What is vitally important is for my son-in-law to love my daughter unconditionally, to support her in everything she does, to protect her, to be her best friend, and to put her on a pedestal as your wife and the mother of your future children. I believe God has brought you two together and he is a reason for everything he does. In the name of God, I, Nathan, take you, Taylor, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Nathan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you, I honor you, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. It fits. Now that Taylor and Nathan have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Now, you want to seal this marriage with a kiss. <laughs> Taylor and Nathan have based their entire relationship off of trust, compassion, truth, and communication. Y'all the love that I pray one day I'll get, but what, what a joy it is to be a part of the special and crazy and fun and passionate love that you two share. I can't say with enough confidence that God designed these two to fit together just right. I also can't say with enough joy that my unit of four is now a unit of five, a sweet thing made even sweeter. Welcome for real, Nathan, because you're not able to run now. <laughs> Till we're 
want to say, I want to raise a glass to these two crazy kids. Because they are absolutely my best friends. And in a lot of ways, Taylor, welcome to the family. Nothing can hold